Hello there prehistoric kingdom friends, today we're diving headfirst into our first gliding animals. I'm giving you not one, but two animals in this video as we take on Avery Flipper. I know what you're thinking, what is Avery Flipper? Here at Gemma Kingdom, it's not the name of the park! My ideas keep evolving, much like the dinosaurs themselves. So I want to take you on a journey of creativity to show you how you don't need to stick to one design and let your ideas soar much like the micro raptors in this habitat. Now, as you know, I'll be building in stages. We're going to improvise, innovate, and embrace the chaotic beauty of creativity. Now, before we get into Avery Flipper, I'd just like to point out that I have changed this with my name being Mrs. T-Rex. I felt it was more appropriate. Now, you will see that the special thanks has not been filled in just yet, but thank you to everyone who commented on the last video. Again, if you comment on this video, your name will be added to this board and I'll showcase all the names at the end of this video. So again, a massive thank you to everyone who has contributed to the park. Okay, so here is our two Avery boxes and they are very basic. So this one here is just your standard and then this one has got some micro raptors in it. So just as a little bit of an insight, if you go up to edit group here, you will see that you can pick between having the cage on or off and then if you come up here to habitat and then click on environment at the bottom you'll see that you can actually change it between the different foliage so there you go you've got tropical temperate and scrubland if we go back into here you can also add in a low avery house so our micro raptors will go in there you can also add in the feeding tower at the bottom so that's what we want to do with this one over here now the next thing we want to do is obviously make this looking a lot better Okay, so you'll see that I have put the cage back in. This is all custom and I've also concreted this in here. So it does make it look a little bit more realistic. I know it kind of does look a little bit harsh with so much metal and much mesh, but realistically, that's exactly what normal Avery's look like. The habitat itself, as you have seen before, that you do get your standard foliage. And what I've done is just try to blend that in more. We do have the concrete base as well, just to try and to keep that a little bit cleaner for the droppings and, and things like that. I don't necessarily know if that would be a thing because obviously it's concrete. I would imagine like kind of around here, there's a, a, a little bit of soil and with the rocks, but the majority of it they've tried to keep it nice and clean and then what i've done try to make it again just a little bit more of a feature so we've got a little waterfall here that comes down and obviously we can't put in water into the game at the moment so this is just a glass piece that tries to like reflect it that you know possibly could be water inside there and yeah this is the start of our habitat flipper Stage three. So this is, I would say, pretty much done. What I am going to point out, though, is that I don't like this building. Now, I guess the majority of people would be like, it looks fine. Don't change it. Why are you complaining about it? But honestly, there's just something about it that I just don't like. I don't know if it's the colours or the textures or whatever it is, but I just don't like it. It's maybe the roof, in fact. I don't know. But we're going to rip this out, or rip part of it out at least, and see if I can make it do something better. But anyway, let's head inside. So, as I said before, I'm not entirely happy with this. I have made the interior a little bit too basic as well. So this is just an in-game prefab that I just switched out the plants because they were like really high and it fills up the space but again it looks like a little bit too boring and then I've put in the donation bins and then again I kind of like the mural but we have used it before within the gift shop and I don't know maybe they got like a, a two for one special and they're probably just going to use this all out the park but I mean, that's only because that's all we've got. So hopefully PK is going to add a little bit more into it. We've also got some benches here. I'm just going to drop down to show you that, yes, there is benches there that the guests will be able to sit on. I've not covered up the bit at the back, so I could just showcase that as well. And then over here is where you can have a look at the Microraptors and the Archaeopteryx. So that's the kind of viewing area and then in here you would then go into the the back which again i've not 
I've not made this all nice because no one's realistically going to see it. But from a keeper's point of view, I've tried to make it so it's easy enough for them to, to get in here. And also like around the side here and then they can get to the back in case they need to like clean this out or whatever and then get to the animals as well and then the same on this side again it's maybe a little bit too tight maybe they're going to have to like jump on a couple of rocks and stuff but realistically and maybe like <laughs> maybe crouch behind there but realistically they should be able to get to the feeder at least back here to clean the windows and stuff so I made sure that this part was all like relatively clear for them to you know do those do those things again we would have to go like that jump over here and then come back over out again so that is how the keepers would come in and out it's sad that I've thought about those things but if we just head back in through this door here your guest point of view and I think it looks okay the only thing like I said is I don't like the interior here and I don't particularly like this this building and I would probably want to put a roof over this bit to make it look a little bit better but in all honesty I feel like we should just try and do something with this Okay, so we have changed it. It might be a bit of a subtle change, but it has been changed. So as I said, I wanted to keep it a bit of a flat roof. I also tried to increase the colours in this, this build as well. So we've got this like grey at the bottom and then this white at the top, which kind of incorporates it into the main building at the top here. So as you can see, it's kind of the same. I know the wooden texture is a lot different. I did think about switching that over, but then I thought, you know what, I kind of like the, the wood, especially because all this was in place. So I've just kept that as well. But what I have done is you have seen like the change of the direction of the wood, which just makes it look a little bit different. So we have a sign here, which is the Avery Lookout. Again, we've put in a little bit of more design around the door. And then inside here, I done this on Twitch. So again, if you want to follow me on Twitch, then I'll put a link in the description. But let's put a light on to start off with. This is an implied habitat and I really loved making this and I have to give a massive shout out to Kicker White Lion who told me all about this piece at the back here. So I did not know that you can change the tile to this really awesome looking foliage board and I think that is like a massive game changer. For the amount of time that I've spent in Prehistoric Kingdom, I honestly have not seen that piece. And I've just probably just not looked. Uh, but yeah, here we go. This is our implied habitat. So over here, lots of foliage. I think it looks really nice. And then over here, this is supposed to be like just a connecting one. So you can get like a round to the side here um, as well and uh, it, it would all just be like a really nice big open area so I've done like an implied water bowl there and um, we also do have a, a heat lamp as well and then we've just included some signs so you know don't tap on the glass because you'll scare the animals the amount of kids that I have seen that has gone to a zoo they just like think it's acceptable to scare the animals and their parents do absolutely nothing about it. So if you are a parent and your kid is running wild, please be considerate to the animals because it's just not very nice. So that's my little bit of respectable parenting advice for those out there. And then up here, we just went for this really kind of like basic office tile structure. So we've got some lights in here and I continued that over onto this side as well. Got rid of that part that was again similar in the gift shop and I've just used something which, you know, it's not fantastic but it's it will do. It, it will do for the, the kind of purpose of, of everything. So I've moved this over here so there's a little bit more space. Everything else is relatively the same within the habitat itself. But yeah, just uh, change the colours as well. These used to be green and now they're grey. And it just looks like a little bit foggy in here but I think that might be the weather. Okay, so I think it's cleared up a little bit now. What happened was I had it on cloudy weather 
Uh, so it's a little bit cleared up as well. So it's it's looking a little bit better. This little attention board. I have taken this off of the workshop. I did not make this at all. I will put a link in the description to the person who created it and a link to their workshop so you can download it as well. The only thing I did do was I changed the colours of it so it's more in line with the branding of this park and that is all I did. So yeah, that is basically our updated version of the Avery Lookout. It is pretty simple, it's quite basic but I actually think it looks not too bad, especially with all the foliage in here. It kind of sits quite snug into this little corner bit and will probably be one of the first animals that you would go visit. Not a big ticket animal for the dinosaurs, but something that I think a lot of people would be interested in checking out. And finally, before I go, a very, very special thanks to all of these beautiful people who were kind enough to comment on my last video. I very much appreciate it. Again, if you do comment on this video, your name will be added to this board. But before I do go, I have a question for you guys. Would you like to see a habitat which comes into here or a habitat which comes into here? So in the comments below, you will have until Sunday to type left or right. And that will determine on the left hand side if we are building here or on the right hand side if we're building here. Both of these habitats are complete, so it's up to you guys which one you want to see. And again, if you are not on our board, then your name will be added as well. Remember and smash that like button and I'll see you in the next video.